Hey Valley Middle, welcome back to another math video. Tonight we're going to be learning about the distributive property. Let's first start off with our just for fun question. Who is this dude? Better question. What's he looking at up there? Is there somebody behind me? All right, we'll have the answer to that and much more after our instruction. Tonight officially our target is 1.8a. I can use the distributive property to rewrite expressions. Let's do this thing. Here's the question, what does the word distribute mean? There's a great picture of Johnny Rotten over there. It's actually Clive Fargus, I think, from The Christmas Story. I give Johnny Rotten some apples, apple, some papers to distribute. What does he do? But he distributes the papers? You've heard the teacher say that before. He passes them out. That's what the word distribute means, to pass out. Um, kids struggle with this property, so I'm going to start off real simply. If I take this expression, 4, times a quantity of 3 plus 2, I add these two, right, according to order of operations, to get 4 times 5, right? Do the parentheses first. So the sum, 4 times the sum, or 5, 4 times 5, or 4 groups of 5 would give me 20, and I've illustrated that. Everybody's all good with that, right? Nod your heads. I can see you through the TV camera. Yeah, okay, great. All right, look at this same problem. I'm going to rewrite that problem using the distributive property. So here's the expression, 4 times a quantity of 3 plus 2. I rewrote it as 4 times 3 plus 4 times 2. Another way of saying that, the way we would say it in elementary school, is 4 groups of 3, which is 12, right? Here's my 4 groups of 3. And 4 groups of 2. 4 groups of 2 gives me 8. Well, guess what? The 8 and 12 equal 20, just like we had 20 over here. It's the same thing! Jinkies. There's my Scooby-Doo line for you. It works that way for subtraction, too. Look at the same problem here, or a similar problem. We have 4 times 3 minus 2. Well, I can simplify that, do the parentheses first, and say that's 4 times 1, correct? 4 groups of 1 equal 4. Here are my 4 groups of 1. But I could also take and distribute that out. Look at the way it works. Here's 4 groups of 3 minus 4 groups of 2. So I distributed the 4 out to each of those other numbers. So 4 groups of 3 are 12, and you can see I have the 3 dots in there, giving me 12 dots in there. And then 4 groups of 2 is 8, and I took away those 4 groups of 2, leaving me with 1, 2, 3, 4. It's the same thing! Okay? All right, now I think we can get to the word of the day. That's what the distributive property does. It allows us to rewrite. It means write things in a different way, and it's very helpful because I like working with both of them. All right, take a look at this. It just says that this, 3 times the quantity of 2 plus 3, is the same as 3 times 2 and 3 times 3, and adding those together. Take a look. I'll show it to you the way math teachers will explain it. Here I've got my expression. And I took 3 times 2, right here, and I distributed it out to 3 times 3, so I have 6 for this. 3 times 3 is 9, I get 15. The same answer is if I solve the parentheses first here, following order of operations, I do 2 plus 3. Now I have 3 times 5 equals 15. Well, why, why would you ever want to do it? This is simpler, correct? Not in all, not in all situations. So that's why it's nice to have both of them to look at. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. All right, rewrite this expression. Go ahead and give it a shot and pause the video. I see dead people. I haven't said that for a while, so I thought I'd freak you out. All right, here we go. See how you did. You can also write this, then, as 5 times a quantity of 4 plus 3. So you have the 5 times 4 and adding it to 5 plus 3, or 5 times 3. I can write that that way as well. Which do you think is easier? Hmm. In this situation, I think this is, because this is 20 and this is 15. But I can look at this and go 7 times 5. I can do it faster in my head. So it works both ways. All right. You'll be asked to rewrite expressions on the target like that. So I'll have you start by going ahead and rewrite this expression right here. You can already see I have some arrows going. Go ahead and pause the video. All right. Let's see how you did. 
Well, I took my 5 times the quantity of 3 plus 2, and I broke it down into 5 times 3. I distributed it out, plus 5 times 2, so I distributed the 5. So I've got 15 here, 5 times 2, 10 here. Gives me a total of 25, but look at over here. 5 times 3 plus 5 times 2. You remember, these are the same. 5, the parentheses mean multiply. I just wrote it with the time symbol. Some kids find that simpler. I guess i got to move these guys over, but sorry about that. But they both equal 25, okay? You can rewrite it with parentheses or multiplication symbols. Just make sure you distribute the 5 and that it's a plus or a minus in between here. That's where kids get mixed up. It's not a times, okay? All right, one more. Rewrite this expression for me. Did you pause the video, really? All right, let's see how you did. Where is it? There it is. I distributed the 7, so I have... It's distributed up here 7 times 2 and 7 times 3, and I just combine these two terms, the 2 plus 3, and I have 7 times that 2 plus 3. It's a pattern that gets easy to follow. All right, time for three quickies we're going to do. All right. Go ahead and pause the video and try rewriting these three expressions. Go. I'm back. Let's see how you did. Well, this one here, we can distribute the 3 out to give me 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5. Or if you want to write it this way, 3 times 4 with a time symbol. Okay? All right, this one here, we can probably write in this form right here, right? So let's see how I did. Yep. I combine the 4 plus 6, 4 plus 6 times the 4. Very nice. Same answer both ways. The target is rewriting. We're going to get to evaluating, so focus on the rewriting. Um, this one here looks like I can rewrite that like this. 8 times 3. Oops, this one here should be a plus. Sorry about that. Okay. Any questions? All right. Let's go to the ticket to the show. Where is my ticket to the show? Here we go. And I'm going to scroll this up just a little bit. Complete these two problems and go ahead and pause the video. Okay. All you have to do is rewrite them. Scroll it up just a little bit more. Make sure you get a good view. All right. Let's get the answer to the just for fun question. Who is this dude? And what's he looking at? It's Bruno Mars. My kids like him. I think he's got some pretty good stuff. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.